not so. It is Friday today. Friday. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. What do I look like in this house coat? But it's Friday the 14th of January and I'm just, as you can see, sitting at the desk getting dressed because oh, um, today I was meant to go to Helen, Helen's to go and help her paint and help her with the baby because she's painting Richie's room and she, obviously she's got the baby to contend with so I was like just gonna go and help anyway that I could um but then I woke up well for the last few days my ear this right ear has been bothering me and today so we, in fact let's just reverse ourselves so it's been bothering me and to the point where yesterday night I put an e-consulting for the doctors because I thought if this gets worse over the weekend I am not having like some like ear pain so the doctor called and he wants me to go in at like 25 past one so like 55 minutes I've got to go in um, and just he wants to check if it's an ear infection or not and obviously I want him to it's hurting me right now so it's not like uh, it's killing me kind of pain but it's hurting me and it's just annoying so I'm just gonna go and get it checked anyway so that kind of put a halt on me doing that so right now I'm just sat at the desk about to put makeup on and do my hair get dressed and then um, I'm gonna go then I've got to go get Lydia so I'll be at the doctor's by like two at the latest then I'm gonna go get Lydia so I'll have to come home for a little bit like an hour so like stop start scenario then I'm gonna get Lydia and then I'm going straight to Helen's then so she'll still be painting the room and whatever and I can help with the baby in that way I'm gonna go and take her some dinner around and just stuff like that so it makes it a little bit easier for her um and just so i can go and see her as well by the way like obviously she's my best best mate i love going to see her and obviously seeing the baby and stuff like that so that's like my little plan so that's why i'm sitting here getting dressed heidi's gone out she got paid today a last payment from um, morrison's and she's literally shot out the front door she's like bye i should not see i'm just in a like bar mood i'm just i'm not unhappy or anything i'm just like ugh, i can't be bothered <laughs> but like i sit here i'm like i can't be bothered but at the same time I want to go and do something because I get bored sitting in. So I think I'm just a bit, I'm not sad, right? I'm not sad. I'm happy. Like I genuinely am happy. I'm happy. I just get like a little bit fed up because I haven't got like a job and I'm bored. It makes me bored like so much. Like I'm, I'm like a dog that needs walking lately. I'm just like, oh my gosh, like is this it? And then because I'm getting the operation and I don't know when I'm going to realistically going to be able to go and work. Like it's going to be like at least... I don't know, two months and I'm like two months like and that's at least and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> I need a job so yeah I don't know it's kind of like making me like because you know, it's the unknown it's a bit like oh fuck's sake but I just need to stop complaining about it because I've done it in the last video and I'm doing it in this one now but I just <laughs> story it's like I really don't want to go and get the operation but at the same time I like I know I need it and I just a wine right now so I'm gonna go because I'm just gonna sit here and wine and I'm going to get dressed because I'm not going to go anywhere. Hi everyone, so it is hours later and I'm just sitting in Madison's car park as usual but like I'm at the back by Lydia's school. I'm just literally waiting to go in and go and get it. It's 20 to 3. I've got like half an hour and I'm like, I'm so bored. I've just been sitting here, rang Hardy and I was like, Hardy, I'm so bored. And I was like, I feel like crying. Like literally feel like crying and I don't cry. And I realised, I was like, oh, Catherine, it's nearly that time of the fucking month. <laughs> Women shit. And I was like, oh, that's what it is then. So, yeah. But I went to the doctor's and um, he checked my ear, well, both ears. And he said that there's like a mild infection in my right ear. So he gave me like anti anti antibiotic, antibiotic. I want to say that. Antibiotics. Antibiotics. I don't know. Antibiotics how you say it short is a different way but he's gave me that um like drops for my ear and then i went to go and get them and the queue is literally out the door for the chemist where he sent the drops to like i can't even like go to any chemist because i haven't got a prescription he's literally just like sent them like electronically or something like that so i'm just sitting here and i thought i'm not going home it's boring going home it's even more boring um and i was if it didn't if i wasn't going to hell until later i'd have probably went and got some food like some lunch and then sat at home for an hour we're going to helen's and i'm going to take her some dinner around and i thought i won't like i never eat lunch and dinner i need to do one or the other and um, because i just get too full up and you wouldn't believe it looking at me but like i really do get too full up 
um so i don't do it so i'm just thinking i'll just wait for here so i just sat here like what do i do <laughs> like this is i'm just in one of those moods like as you can tell from the other clip where i'm just like i feel like just not empty that's not the right word i'm happy right i am actually happy um i'm also happy that i'm not in the other job that i was in last not that i didn't like it i did like it but you know you just like know that it was the right thing to come to an end and um i think if i'd got kept on there i'd i'd have maybe said no to the surgery or i'd have delayed it and or it's put me in a harder posi position to like make a choice kind of thing and i thought so i'm glad that it works out the way it did so it's nothing to do with that um i think i'm a little bit like where am i going next kind of thing and that's annoying me so it's me wondering like what type of job do i want next and realistically it's gonna have to be an office based job like working from home or in an office and um because with having back surgery and like it's it's gonna take like a good 12 months to heal properly like where i can maybe go and do something and like take a chance at like lifting a heavy crate of something you know like i don't want to do it before that so basically retail jobs are out the way like any supermarket jobs i can't do any of that um and i don't know like i maybe like work at a little shop or something i don't know i felt, kind of feel like i wish i didn't have to get back surgery but i kind of i know i have to i just need to stop getting over it you know and stop talking about it but it's just annoying like well i feel like i'm getting forced back into the office kind of thing and everyone looks at office jobs you know you see people working from home and like it looks good it does look good you know you're like oh i wish i was working from home just roll out the bed but it can get repetitive and draining and you don't meet anyone you don't see anyone you don't speak to anyone like yeah all right you, you use teams to like video chat people but you never I, I never met physically one person from my old job in assistance advice like not one um so it's kind of like you there's a barrier between like work and home and then you're more at home obviously because you're working from home and it starts getting mixed in with your home life and it's it's a lot of stress like mental stress so i kind of need a job that is going to be hopefully from home for the sake of me back but if i'm okay then hopefully eventually it's something like maybe i don't know where i can go into an office or something i don't know i just don't fucking know this is why i'm in the mood because i just don't know the answers and i think i'm kind of fortunate you know that like I've got like my degree and I've got some office work experience and the citizens advice is a good one to have on your CV and I am so grateful and that for all that stuff but at the same time I'm like I just don't want the mental torture of anything like that right now but I've got to so I think that's what else is making me annoyed because like what type of job do I look for I'm kind of stuck I'll have to look for that type of job and then like when can I go and get the job because of my back surgery I just feel like everything's just went like bang and just stopped and i'm like oh it needs to hurry up so then because i'm now i'm kind of stuck at the moment it's kind of pissed me off but i need to just kind of enjoy it because when i am back and work properly like going to wherever i work um i'll be like crying for the days that i'm off i'm like i wish i was off i wish i could go and do what i want for the day and usually i enjoy like doing this kind of stuff but i'm just not so yeah i don't know so all that's going around my head and it's just annoying me and i think that it's annoying me more because that time of the month almost so yeah I don't know. also by the way um i put something off instagram before but just to let you know and for the person that's done it like i no shade at you at all um but when it comes to me personal like social media i don't really have people from youtube on it and um, someone tried to add me and i said no and it's not because like i don't like like any of you obviously like i trust like most of you and i don't know it's a kind of a hard one like obviously you can kind of you know like you can use your own initiative and understand what i'm saying but basically what i put on my personal like facebook is different to what i'd put on like instagram or youtube i mean i am a pretty open person you know most of it anyway i'm not gonna lie um and i don't know i just feel like don't try and add me on like facebook because i'm gonna say no and i feel bad when i'm saying no if you know what i mean and 
it's a hard one because like there's the loads of you that I know your names and I've spoke to you for years and you know I'd probably be okay with you guys that I've spoke to you for years and like we've got kind of like a report between us but there's some people that like I just don't know like I've had a lot of men lately um like popping up like trying to add me and stuff like that and I'm like universe I was trying I am trying to hopefully one day meet a nice man a nice man that I actually physically meet in person somewhere and we get to know each other and stuff like that but at the same time I was like I am not um I am not after just any old man like you know when you ask the universe or something and you get sent like everything fucking else <laughs> It's like that so like i've had, had a lot of men messaging me and i'm like no kind of think like it's never gonna happen like if i was gonna do that i'd go on dating apps but i would never ever 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 as many times you, as you can say ever go on a dating app i don't know like shades against anyone who does i know that people have been successful meeting people there but i'm not that desperate like i will just let life take its course and if it takes me years to meet someone then that'll be what it is but basically like i'm just the gist of the story is because i went off a tangent there it's just don't add me on social media if i add you great um but if i don't then please don't add me like no um the social media there like i put underneath my videos that you can um follow me on and that's it like that's it so youtube instagram and i have an email for business inquiries only and also i don't mind like, i get the odd message on there don't mind i'm um, supposed to a few people there's actually one email a lady that i think it's a lady anyway actually but i don't know and um, but it sounds like it is that i've got an email back so i don't mind that but like if anyone's trying to like come up in like me inbox to try and like talk to me in like a way of like i like you and all that like no like just don't do it i am not out for that kind of stuff and i hate saying stuff like this and being so like it comes across it can come across arrogant and it's not meant that way it's just that i just don't want to meet anyone online and yeah no so just please just know the line no way to draw the line okay anyway i'm gonna go and sit here for another 10 minutes or so until Lydia gets out of school. Some girl that I used to go to school with has just walked past. I think she walked from behind the car though. Seen me talking to myself. And then kind of I side eyes me walk past. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that was kind of awkward, but you know, whatever. Hey everyone, so it is later on, it's quarter past five. And what afternoon I've had. Like literally what an afternoon. So I where's it have? So I went to the doctors the last time you spoke, well I spoke to you. And then I got out today, it was like two o'clock and I was like, oh, it's not that long to get Lydia, I can't be bothered going home. So I sat at like the back at the Morrison's car park where I parked for the school. Sat there for an hour. I was like, I'll just chill here and then I'll go and get Lydia, go and get her some food and then go and get my prescription for my ear and all that kind of stuff. So it ends up that I haven't got like quite an ear infection, but it's, it's like on its way kind of thing. So they've gave me some eardrops is it i think it's got and some antibiotic eardrops whatever that is so i got them the qr was out the door for the chemist so when i got the prescription from the doctors that's why i sat in the car for an hour i was like i'm not waiting in that queue it was literally out the door so then i go in so then i go and get lydia go over to the chemist and go and ask them for the prescription and they're like it's going to be 20 minutes i was like okay so I sat in the car for an hour on the phone to my uncle, just talking to him. And then, so it'd been an hour, so go back to the chemist. I go to the woman, she's like, oh, sorry, we haven't got it in stock. And I was like, are you joking? Like, are you joking me? Right? Like, oh, honest to God. So then they rang up and they then they had it in a different chemist, basically. So let's walk around to a different chemist, go and get that. In the meantime, I'm meant to be going to Helen's to go and get some food for her and me and Richie and go and see the baby and that. And then it's like half four or almost half four and she texts me, she's like, oh, we're just leaving now. And I'm like, are you joking? Like, really? Like, everything I've tried to do today just didn't go to plan. I'm all waiting in the chemist. My ear's killing me. Do you want? And I'm just like, not in the good mood. I'm starving. I haven't eaten nothing all day. And I'm just like, I just give up. I am done right now. So right now I'm just cooking Lydia's dinner. She hasn't cooked it. I literally haven't cooked the dinner right for days. And uh, today, right the second, I don't care. But really, somewhere down deep down, my subconscious, I'm like, yeah, you probably should cook a dinner. So I'm going to take some beef out. 
I'm gonna have a beef stew, beef stew tomorrow. I'm gonna, I've just took two ibuprofen for my ear, so hopefully they'll work and stop, it'll stop annoying me. And then I'm gonna put some of the drops in, sort that out. I'll get a food from Morrison's, but I'm ordering it to the door. I was that annoyed. Like, I was literally in Morrison's car park. I How? No, it wasn't that, yeah. So, I'm going to a minute. Three more So, yeah, I was literally in the car park after just being to the other chemist, like the second chemist. And I was just like, I can't even deal, mentally deal with going to Morrison's and having to ask for stuff. But I went into the second chemist. And I was talking to the woman and I was waiting. And I was like, I knew I was coming across like in a mood because I am in a mood. And I had to purposely recognize it in myself and like stop myself from being snotty because it's not the woman's fault. It's no one's fault. It's just me, like my mood. So, pardon me. So, I definitely was not in the mood to go in there. I was like, nope, I am not going in. So, I've ordered this to the house and I'm getting my usual chicken and chips and salads. <sighs> then we're just going to some pajamas on or in my world I've got my big t-shirt on I'm gonna take my pants off take my socks off take my boots off and I'm just gonna chill on the couch this one has been giving me a little hooks because she loves me don't you mm -hmm. she's been looking after her mama um and I'm just gonna watch something on telly my usual friends probably I'm like addicted to friends it's been like in existence for like 30 years is it and I'm like so is it oh yeah Lydia's got like a friends t-shirt on though like that's how much we love it isn't it <laughs> Um, so I'm just gonna chill and watch that. I need to like decompress my brain and just calm down or something. Like I'm not mad at anyone. I'm just irritated in general, and I think it's because my ears are annoying me. Um, and that's actually a sign of like a middle ear infection is being irritable, and that's definitely me right now. And I'm Joanne and stuff like that. So, so your ears being irritating, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. Like aching. Oh. So I'll be to get rid of. So yeah, I'm going to do that and I'm just going to chill and hopefully in the next clip, I'll be a better, nicer human. <laughs> Maybe this will be. <laughs> You're not a human anyway. When I get mad, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Silly duck. Do you remind me the ones remember in Colchester? The green ones are the silly ducks and then the brown ones are just. Are they? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were just giving them random names. No, and then that one's a swan. Swan, swan lake. Yeah, so, what? do you got swans, drakes, and silly ducks? And the, other, and the only reason I know that is because of Roblox. Adopt me. Because <laughs> you get pets on there. And then you Hey everyone, so it is, let's just get copyrighted, I mean not get copyrighted, it's about half four, twenty to five, and I've just been to Lizzie from school, she was in Cuckoo Club today, weren't you? Um, I've had a busy day, I've been to the hospital, you know, I've seen like a little 30 second clip of that, um, and I'll tell you more about it when I get in, but it's not a major, um, and then we went round Ormskirk for a bit, because that's where the hospital was, we went to Morrison's in Ormskirk, just to compare what our one's like to their one, Preferably like my one better. It's cleaner and it's just nicer. Um, but we just went there and got some food. So now I'm gonna go. And we went the, the tip as well. So I got got all that sorted. Um, I had to go and take like this the old bin there and other stuff. Anyway, you don't need to know. Right now I'm just on my way to the garage to go and get some petrol and to go and get Hardy some study snacks. So she's got an exam tomorrow. And I was like, do you want me to go and get you some snacks so you can study? Like, I just remember when I was in uni, like, getting snacks while you study, it's just, it just makes it better. So that's what I'm going to do for her because her little face is like, I don't want to do this. But at the same time, like, she's got to do it. Um, so yeah, I don't know, I'm still going to get her some snacks. And another thing is the moon, oh my goodness, is absolutely amazing. I wish that I could capture it on the camera for you but the camera just does no justice for it and neither does the um the photograph I've tried my best but honest to god the moon is just 
over over where I live, nearly we said where I live there. Um, but over where I live, it's just absolutely the sky and everything. I am obsessed with the moon, the stars, and the sky. It's just so pretty. And yeah, for now, it's just one. Of, it's just been like a nice little day. And me and Hardy, we were driving to Ormskirk through all like the back fields, and it was a nice like springish. You can feel spring in the air, and it was just so nice to just drive through all the fields and not be in the place where we live, where it's very built up and it's very rough. Um, it's not that nice, really, to be honest. I'm very grateful for my house and stuff like that, but it's just not that nice. So um, it's nice to just see like what you can have if you work hard kind of thing. I was saying to Hardy before, like I've got like that law degree and I don't utilize it. I don't use it at all. Like it's, it's, it's a difficult one. That's a long conversation, but basically I've got a choice. If you can get an easier job, um, that's not so mentally straining and have like an easier life, but that's going to be your life. Or you can strive a little bit maybe um oh the fire truck's there <laughs> and um and maybe get a different like a better standard of living and i think i just lose confidence in myself and i don't always do what i need to do so um, yeah so i'm just gonna maybe try and I don't know, oh use my degree. But anyway, I'm going to go in. I'm at the petrol station with my child. I'm just saying, there's no problem, mate. I know, I'm going to have to go, come on, because I've got people waiting for petrol as well. So I'm going to go, go and get petrol, go and get Hardy some study snacks, and I'll speak to you in a minute. So, guys, we've just been to the petrol station, got Hardy a ton of snacks, got her, who's trying to get in. You can't, it's just the steering wheels in the way. Um, got her a ton of snacks. I'm going to go home now and cook them a roast dinner. We got like a resi cute chicken from the Mo or the Morrisons. Um, so I'm going to go and I can't speak today. Like it's just not happening. Like that's it. Like I keep falling, falling. I'm doing it again over my own words. And I've been doing it for days. And I'm like, what's going on? Um, but I'm going home. Then, well, I can't speak. I'm going home right, to cook a fucking dinner. There's a police and I clearly shouldn't be vlogging. Um, yeah, I'm going home to cook a dinner. And clean i need to finish cleaning because tomorrow i've got the man coming out for the fridge freezer because it keeps making that weird noise and then it goes when he's done. no i literally i've so I'm, i've still got that recording i nearly literally nearly deleted the recording of the fridge making that noise the other day and i was like no catherine you need that so um i'm looking forward to him coming out hopefully he can fix it no me i'm saying he right just assumptions here probably a fucking woman but it's fine like as long as someone fixes it i don't really care um but yeah anyway i went to my hospital appointment today that was just gynecology just doing a check up be careful yeah. um and all is a-okay so we'll go in that department um and then it was so funny and I don't want to go into detail because I wish like I could like have like a secret YouTube with only certain people that I know on it, right? Because I'd tell you so much more, like so much more stories. Because there's quite a few of you on here that like I know and I really like trust as much. Oh, the moon's just amazing. But yeah, that I trust as much as I'd like ever trust. And like obviously we'd have to verify who we were and stuff like that. But I really feel like I wish I could have one. And I could just tell you the ins and outs of it, but it's what stops me is because people in my real life watch the videos. People, some people that I don't even like, and I suppose they don't like me, so I don't know why they watch, but yeah, whatever. That's a different conversation. Um, and I'm just like, I can't tell you because yeah, they, they watch. And that's the thing about doing YouTube is like, you think when you watch another YouTube is that it's just like you, like a, a hundred people of you that are watching like that but what you've got to remember if, is that they've got personal people in their life watching and people that don't always like them as well and you know you see those like quotes on facebook and all that like hate is gonna hate and all that and i'm like but that's literally the way it is in um like in life sometimes and i used to look at things like that like people saying like oh haters watching me and all that and i'd be thinking oh my god gonna take your big head for the shit right now but now i'm like no like the when you do youtube i'd say like the social media stuff there's people in general that just aren't gonna like that and i'm just like yeah i don't know anyway i'm gonna go because i'm just gonna get into my house now and i'll speak to you all when i get in and i'm starting the cleaning I'll, i've already started but finish hey everyone so <laughs> i literally can't stop that <laughs> I'm home. 
from the from the shop and <laughs> they start laughing with you so as you can see you got chain <laughs> i wish you could see me proper full blown so i am um, i decided that i was going to order some night dresses from marks and spencers and i decided that i was going to get old-fashioned ones don't quite know why. I think these are for when I go to the hospital, right? And got other pajamas and stuff. Go flush the chain, wash your hands. Um, and I've got shiny hands. And as he said, I was gonna get some old fashioned night dresses. So, like, I don't know. Can I mean, you just you can just see the top. Like, they're just memory repellent night dresses. You know, <laughs> but it's damn funny. I've got like slippers and stuff. I can't believe we even bought them, but anyway, we've got them on now, so this is what I'm wearing for the night. I think I like night dresses because I hate my legs being covered, I can't bear it, but these are just something else. These are like literally, literally what my nanas wear. But yeah, we're not trying to impress anyone, you know. It's just, it's comfort is number one. <laughs> She's laughing at it. What did you say that, that I look like? You look like the classical old man. <laughs> Nan, like N-A-N. Like, thanks, Liz. I appreciate it. Did you wash your hands? Yeah. Anyway, now we're over that and you don't have to wonder what I've got on now. I'm just going to go and put the wash on. I've got like, oh, my back. See, I need the surgery. <laughs> I've got two, stop it late. I've got two loads of laundry there that need doing. So I'm going to start that, start cooking the dinner. I need to hoover and mop. Look at it. Helping me, aren't you? <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> Remember when we were in that woods place and you hooked me and we nearly fell on rolls? You mean in, in Carmel Dam? Yeah, we yeah. nearly rolled. Like, um, but yes, yeah, so I'm going to go and do that. Just clean up a little bit, put some yeah. music on, wait, and cook some dinner. Almost sexual. Push it, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Hey everyone, so it is hours later. It's like 10 to 9. A bath because I was sitting here with Hardy. And I was like, it's freezing, like absolutely freezing. So I got a bath and now I'm too hot. So then stood at the front door. No thanks, put them at the top on that shelf. That was so random. I know. You're tired. Oh, what you are. Um, so yeah, so I'm just, what was I saying? Oh yeah, so I got a bath anyway, and now I'm hot. So I just stood at the front door and honest to God, it's, the sky i could just go on about it all day but it's so so beautiful Um, seeing all the like the stars and it's just dead clear and i think it's called a wolf moon so it's like a full moon i think it's the first one of 2022 actually Um, it's just so nice and pretty i'm just like oh i just wish wish that i had like a porch stop it i had like a porch or something or I just lived like without neighbors so we could just sit out there for hours and look at the moon like all wrapped up of course because we don't want to be cold um but i just love that honestly that's like my favorite thing to do in the world it's like it reminds me that like you know when like you get so wrapped up in life and problems that you have seem like huge and as an i haven't got pro i mean everyone's got problems but i haven't got nothing major going on touch board let's jinx ourselves um but like you know you just get like wrapped up like just being here and no one ever looks up like no one even like when you go to town and like any town that is but like for me it'd be liverpool and no one ever looks up at the buildings like how beautiful all the buildings are and the architecture and stuff um and we're all just so like looking that way straight ahead of us and or in the past or arguing or something concentrate gotta do this gotta do that no one ever just stops and goes like where am I? Like, what's up there? You know? And it's just like, I love to do that. Like, it sounds so stupid. Like, literally the stupidest thing probably in the world. But it's just, it's also, also so peaceful. I never forget watching this lad on YouTube called, called Shai. Sh Shai. I can't pronounce it. Shai. Shai. I don't know. It sounds so strange when you say it like that. But I'll link it down below and I'll put it on the screen. Um, and he goes on, like, big adventures on, he, like, gets on trains and like kind of what's it called like hitches lifts on trains but secretly like he doesn't stop for him he like jumps on yeah. trespassing also i can't remember what it's called love you um so he kind of does that and he goes all over europe and he just shows you how beautiful europe is like it really is stunning and he also like he went to chernobyl and in chernobyl they've got like these big huge 
antennas like these big like aerial antenna things as this big huge huge tall thing right I'll, I was gonna say I'll link it down below right the video I'm on about and you'll see and he goes and explores over there and they can't get caught obviously because you get thrown out because it's radioactive and that and he he climbed to the very top of that um like aerial kind of thing and he doesn't do it with like ropes or anything he just does it and if he falls he falls but one thing he said was the reason he likes climbing to the highest place on a building is because up there he knows what's what it's either death or he's safe up there so obviously he's got childhood traumas or whatever um but he like he just said like he knows what he's got and up there you're away from the like busy bustleness bustle bustleness the busyness of the like the the earth the world the people and i was like i so get what you're on about like i get it like you know like it, if you go up high or you just look up it's just peace quietness and nothing and when you're down here it's just like constant like go 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 can't think whether it's good go 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 or it's bad or whatever it's just busy and i was like i totally get what you're on about anyway that was a big ramble i was very deep but it wasn't meant to be deep it's not deep i'm not depressed not like that I promise it's just like the way i view the world i've always been like that actually since i was very very young I remember it was like bonfire night or it was a few days before actually and i was about three because i lived in the first house i ever lived in so i only lived in two houses growing up and it's the first one and I moved out of there when I was four so it must have been three and I remember walking down the street with my mum like we were still in our like street but we were walking down the street and it was a dead clear night with all the stars and I always remember saying to my mum mum look up look up and look at all the stars and she did because she liked it as well and I just think as a three-year-old to notice that and be like look at that and then remember it and how beautiful it was and stuff i just think like it must be something within me that i just like i don't know i just love it anyway i love that i definitely need to go and work for nasa we all know it okay I need to go and explore the planets the stars <laughs> that want to work for the police that want to work on retail kind of don't want to be a solicitor anymore um but yeah there's loads of things i want to do but i'm rambling crap anyway so anyway what i'm going to do now it's fast and iron so i'm going to sit here and chill as i said watch a few episodes of friends edit this video i've got a can of diet coke which i probably shouldn't be drinking but i have water as well i think that's down there somewhere um i'm just gonna sit here and just let it out just chill i could be wrapped around your arms instead of being lonely we could be gazing at the stars but now it feels just like i wandered off into a room and closed the door